Hi guys, so just got a new TV, uh, the Tech Hood, uh, model number 65AO8UHD. So I'm just going to go through a few basic bits because most people don't know about this TV. And yeah, I haven't seen anything online. So yeah, hope this helps. Alright, so yeah, so just going to do a walk around the TV pretty much. And just for you to sort of see the physical structure of it in person. Though the lighting is not that good. So pretty much with this TV, you get 4K Ultra HD, Dynamic HDR, Smart TV, 3 USB uh, HDMI, and 2 USB ports. Um, it does have Dolby Vision, and you'll see it later on when, I, when I'm going through uh, the settings and stuff. So for the remote, you get quite a basic, sort of basic um, smart TV rate, um, remote, which sort of does the job for me, really. Hang on, just to see how long it takes. So I'm going to press it now. I'm just in the dock, just so that we can have a bit of better contrast. So three, two, one, here you go. See that red light flashing? As you can see, those there's like white shutters. Those are pretty much my camera. It's not the TV itself. There, are, there is quite a good definition between, I mean, good separation between white and black. So yeah, this won't really provide an accurate um, picture of what it looks like in person. But all I can say is, for the price that I got it, for, it is menu. a good TV, good 4K TV, what and it's got good features, is. HDR, dynamic range, and um, Dolby Vision. All those things, that all those extras that you need when bumping it up. It does have Miracast, which is compatible with Android and Apple products. Right, so these are the apps that came or pre-installed on my TV and Netflix and Amazon as 
apparently 4k compatible i've not tested it because my internet speed yet but it should be it should be right pretty much I tried the mirror casting on my old Samsung, but it seemed not to work, so I'm not too sure. I've not really bothered to go through it again, but it should probably work. I'm just going to try out the graphics um, on my Xbox One, but this is the older version, which is not the 4K one. So, I mean, the quality is different from the previous TV that I had. I had a 55 inch TV, um, HD TV, which I can tell the difference when pretty much the detail in the and, and, and the contrast in the picture as you can see I just tried to zoom in a bit closer just so that you know you can sort of have an idea of what it might look like though the camera is not producing the actual the actual quality that's there sound is also good as it has Dolby Dolby audio which is quite good though for, for, for the price that I was getting because looking competitors competitive TVs at that price range the sound was really bad I'm gonna use the sound bar already because I had it before but yeah if you can use it without a sound bar if you want it still sounds alright it sounds good um, yeah So just gonna go through the settings just just to sort of help you sort of see what um, what is included and what how it might you know the features that you might like on it. All in all, I would recommend this TV as a good uh, product. Um, yeah, the brand might not be known and stuff, but you know how it is. Like most of the components are probably from Samsung, LG, all those all those other big companies. Um, yeah, the picture quality is good. The sound is good. Um, you can pretty much play around with the settings. You know, image settings and sound settings. There's too many settings. You you know that yeah, you might find suitable. Another thing is also that there's no lag in the apps, so the TV is not lagging itself. Even the, the remote responds as soon as you press on it, and it's easy to navigate around. Like you know, if it's internet browsing, you can always do it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.